What's good? It's Asian Sky from DX Daily Podcast. And Pusha T was a special guest on Showtime's Jesus and Mero on Thursday night, April 7th. While he was there, he chopped it up with the Bodega Boys about his upcoming album, It's Almost Dry. Pusha talked about the process behind creating his raps, and he talked about his latest single, Neck and Wrist, featuring Jay-Z and Pharrell. As the conversation went along, Pusha shed some light on his collaborative relationship with Jay-Z, and he even recalled Hov's reaction to when he sent him the song Neck and Wrist in the first place. It happens over email. Yeah. This is the wildest part. I'll like have a beat and I'll be like, man, this is crazy. And I'll like, I'll write to it and I'll say everything I can say crazy to it. And I'm like, man, who belongs on this beat? And if I don't feel like anybody can match up, but I feel like it needs a feature because I can't say anymore. I think I've done it all. Right. This happened with Drug Dealers Anonymous. Mm -hmm. The song's called Neck and Wrist. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I record it and I send it to him. I just email it to him and, um, he hit me back, you know, whatever, whether it's emojis, whether it's like, yo, what the like, hell did you... Like the same emojis? I, th I think he said, what the hell you want me to say to this? You know, <laughs> yeah. I, something. And um, I know I can count on him to say things that I just can't say. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he he lives in, you know, he, bro, it's... He's, he's in a he's different whole. level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different he's, level. he's up there. So he's it's like, Jay Hover. Man, you know, a lot of times when I do features, I do features for people to, like, really take the record to the next level. Mm -hmm. Like, really take it to the next level, really step it up, because I'm doing the feature for an album. You know, like like I said, these albums come few and far between, so it's like, man, it gotta be masterpiece level. Exactly. Now, Jay-Z certainly had a lot to say on this song. Aside from making boasts only a billionaire can make, Jay-Z also responded to comedian and actor Faison Love's claims that he lied about being a drug lord in a 2016 Vlad interview. When Jay-Z creates this whole drug dealer, drug lord, I'm a drug dealer, I'm a drug lord, these kids, and they, that's, we gotta do it too, to be like Jay-Z. Not knowing that this is all made up shit. Jay, this is, this is a puppet. He's never done. Can you imagine Jay-Z fighting somebody in the streets? Somebody slap him, take his cocaine, what are you gonna do? Jay-Z said, The phase I'm on love, I wouldn't believe it either. I be like, Jay-Z's a cheater. I wouldn't listen to reason either. All I know is he's a felon. How is he selling? We the Khalifa brothers. Deep down, I believe you love us. Huh. And after addressing Phase on Love, Hope also went on to address critics who argued that he wouldn't be as successful as he is today if the notorious B.I.G. was still alive. In response to that, Jay-Z said, They like if Big was alive, Hope wouldn't be in this position. If Big had survived, y'all would have got the commission. <laughs> Hope was gonna always be hope. It was the universe will, cause the law says so. And now I'm here. So after hearing both Pusha T and Jay Z's bars on the song Neck and Wrist, what do you think of the new track? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast and keep it locked in to Hip Hop DX. <laughs>